What's going on, beat makers? This is David 2.0, aka Deuce Dot with BeatsByTheDot.com. We're going to be working with FL Studio, the crossover wrapped version for the Mac. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to import your sound library into the FL browser here. Now, I have seen a couple of videos on YouTube already um, describing how to create a directory in the, uh, the FL folder and uh, basically copying in over the sounds that you want to use in FL. Now, I don't know about you, but I have like 80 gigs worth of drum kits and samples, so I can't exactly copy over all 80 gigs, and I, I definitely want to have access to all of my sounds at any given time. So how do you do that? All right, so one thing that I did try initially was creating a uh, an alias from uh, my Reason folder, which is where I have all of my samples, and I'll show you guys uh, my setup here. I have okay, so this is my Reason folder. See, I have my you know your orchestra and factory sound bank, but then I have an extra folder that I created called Drum Kits. Now, his this is all of my my samples, my my uh, my sounds and things, things that I've collected over the years. And uh, I don't want to have to copy all that over into the FL folder. So um, the first thing that I did was I tried to, you know, do the whole right click thing and create an alias. But what happens is, you know, on a Mac, it's cool. You know, you have you have a shortcut that you can drag over to wherever you want to put it. But FL doesn't recognize that as a shortcut because again this is a crossover wrapped version of FL so it's it's acting like a PC so you can't use a Mac shortcut so what do you do? I'm going to go ahead and throw that away I'm going to go to, okay this is what I want to use in FL right? Um, instead of going through you know trying to find a directory and going into the wine bottles and all that stuff you know this is what other people would show you how to do having to go through you know all these different uh, folders to get to the root directory where you want to put the sounds and then you have to copy over the sounds that you want to use it's just ridiculous I'm not going through all of that absolutely not what we're gonna do is actually open up the window itself at fail studio and we're gonna have this window here of the sounds that we want to use in this case drum kits and I'm going to do exactly this. I'm going to click and drag right into the browser and let go. And boom, you have access to all of your sounds. This is not copied over. This is a, sh a shortcut that was made within the application itself to your sounds. So this saves you on all that hard drive space that you would have used up trying to copy over all those sounds and you can preview them just as regularly as you would do anything else so there you have it how to import your sound library into your crossover wrapped FL Studio for Mac hope that helps somebody out there see you on the next one deuces